Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of How to Feed the Beast in Minecraft. Today, as promised in the last video, we're going to be building a turbary. The turbary is another machine from the forestry mod, and its purpose is to automatically harvest the mature bog earth into peat blocks from the peat bog that we made in the last video. Let's head on over to the workshop, and we can have a look at the ingredients list. Okay, welcome back to my workshop. Let's go and have a look what we need to build our turbary. Now, the recipe for the turbary is identical to the peat bog. The only difference is, instead of the copper electron tubes, you will need tin electron tubes. So the ingredients you're going to need to build a turbary are four glass blocks, six tin ingots, eight bronze ingots, and eight redstone. So that's the entire ingredients you will need to build the turbary. You will also need to have a carpenter to be able to build the simple circuit, a thermionic fabricator to be able to make the tin electron tubes, as well as a good old vanilla crafting table to put the whole thing together. Some other items you're going to need for this project include a chest, some form of buildcraft transport pipe, another peat fired engine, either a redstone torch or a lever so that you can turn the engine on and off, and some bars of peat so that we can power the engine. Okay, so we're back at the greenhouse where we set up our peat bog in the last video, and let's see how things are getting on. Well, as you can see, the peat bog's still going, and some of the bog earth that we placed down in the last video has already started to mature into peat. And there's another block just turned right in front of our eyes. Now what you can actually do to harvest this is you can do it manually with a shovel. If you dig up a block of peat. Oh, let's get it right. There we go. And what you get from that is one dirt block and a bar of peat. Now eventually the um, uh, bog generator will put another block down there. If I replace it with a dirt block and then it will eventually turn that dirt block into some bog earth. However, it can be a bit tedious going around and digging all these up manually and replanting the dirt. So, let's find a more efficient way of doing it. So we've got our turbary. Now, unlike the peat bog, which affects a 15 by 15 block radius, so that is literally from this row here up to the row on the opposite side, the turbary actually has a 21 by 21 block influence. So we could put the turbary down right in the far corner here and it would still reach both sides furthest away from it. But I don't want to pop it right in the corner. What I'm going to do is pop it here on the side. It's got a 21 block reach so it will still reach all the way over to here. Now it will require power so we'll pop an engine down next to it and I will put down a lever so I can turn the engine on and off. Let's just put some peat into the engine. Now we're going to need some sort of output. Now luckily we brought along a chest. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can either place the chest down directly next to the turbary and everything it harvests will go straight into the chest without any need for pipes or you can use buildcraft pipes and it will pump through those. Now I'm going to use buildcraft pipes just so we can actually see the process going on because otherwise things just sort of in invisibly appear in the chest. So let's just pipe all that up. So there we go, it's now connected to the chest via a series of pipes. So as you can see at the moment, we have no dirt blocks. Everything is either bog earth or peat. We'll flick the engine on. There we go, there's, there's a dirt block, and another dirt block, and another dirt block. Not quite started splitting them out yet. There we go, there's the peat moving along the pipe. So what the turbary does, is the turbary will automatically harvest any of the mature peat blocks, it will replace them with earth, and then the um, bog generator will then eventually replace the earth blocks with more bog earth. And there we go, we've got automated peat production. All going into the chest. 
Now what we're going to have a look at in the next video is a process where we can actually manufacture the bog earth that goes in the peat bog. The problem we've got at the moment is we have to make it manually using buckets of water and it would be nice if we could automate that process. So two machines we'll be looking at in future videos will be the moistener which we need to make mulch and we will also be looking at how to automate the production of the bog earth with the carpenter. So thank you for watching and I hope this video has been both entertaining and useful to you. If you have enjoyed it, please as usual like, subscribe and share. If you've got any ideas for things you'd like to see in future videos, if there's a particular machine or item that you'd like me to build and demonstrate for you, either send me a message or leave it in the comments below. And I will see you next time.